What is it like driving for Uber and driving for Lyft here in Austin, Texas? I've been going out a lot. I'm here for the month doing a bunch of videos. It's been a crazy month. And every time I go out, I usually take an Uber or a Lyft. And I always ask them how it is. You know, I do this a lot because when I travel, it is interesting hearing, you know, what do some drivers think about one area versus another one? Remember, like I've said a bunch of times, the number one factor that determines how much money you can make as a driver is your location. But it's also interesting hearing what drivers think about the culture, the people, the driving style in that city. Overall, the response that I've gotten from a lot of drivers is insanely positive and the amount you can make let's say per hour because that's the biggest thing a lot of people want to know here in austin the average amount i got was 30 dollars an hour i had some drivers saying yeah you know i make about 25 to 35 i had other drivers say oh yeah you know i can make pretty good money like 30 to 40 dollars an hour the biggest thing when it comes to here in austin that i heard is one the people are super nice i think there's one year that time magazine ranked austin is actually the nicest people in the country and that's true austin's one of my favorite cities period so i know if you ever get the chance to come here i'm telling you amazing people amazing food food is insane great live music the, the music's ridiculous austin is an awesome city and a lot of the drivers say look i love driving here i was even talking to one driver who said he drove about three to four days a week depending on you know how good the surges were the bonuses etc etc he made twenty five hundred dollars a week and I was like, really? And he's like, oh yeah. He's like, look, I make well above six figures. You know, if you do the math out, close to about 120K. Being an Uber driver, he loved Uber more than Lyft, is what he told me. Being an Uber driver here in Austin, that's pretty ridiculous. If you think about it, three to four days of work, obviously he's pretty much driving from, you know, the time he wakes up to the time he goes to bed, doing like a 12 hour shift. That's not bad. That's pretty good money, 120K. Just driving around, he has his own schedule, he can travel when he wants, et cetera, et cetera. I feel like I've noticed the income here is definitely a bit higher when I've talked to other drivers in other cities. It always fluctuates, but I feel like the average amount, like I said, is about on average 30 an hour. Another big thing about Austin when talking to a lot of drivers is the events. Now, South by Southwest just happened. In case you don't know what that is, it's a 10 day long, festival if i'd call it that it's honestly one of the craziest things i've ever done i have an entire video recap that i have on my vlog channel i'll post it in the description if you want to check it out but that's just one of the many events that happen here in austin you have south by southwest austin city limits you always have tons of concert shows and i think because of those events because compared to a lot of other cities there's just so many all the time here in austin those surges are high like i mentioned in a lot of other videos Peak hours are always going to be a great time to drive. But sometimes just on par or even more than that are the actual events, sporting events, music events. Uh, there's any food events or there's any technology events. I mean, any kind of event in general where there's a lot of people looking to order a Lyft and Uber, that is where you come in. And especially here in Austin, there is always something going on. In addition, compared to, let's say, LA, which obviously where I live, LA, there's always something going on too, but the city's more spread out. So even though, let's say, one area might have a big event, if you, let's say, go to another area, there's pretty much going to be no surge because you're because LA is just so spread out. Here in Austin, things are close enough where, let's say, even if we just have one event and you're somewhat close to it, you might still be in that surge or that bonus area, so to speak. And I think that's the biggest reason why a lot of drivers make a good amount of money and why they like it so much is that when it comes to all the events are usually around like the same area, the same kind of pocket. And because it's so small, when people are ordering a Lyft and Uber, even if they're not going to or from that event, you still get that surge, that bonus. And that makes Austin a great place to drive. Being honest, some of the most positive responses I've ever heard from any drivers in any city.